Ed Ferrara stories. Uh, what did he bring to TNA apart from his white boy dreadlocks? Not much. He he wasn't there long. He was only there about, and I may be wrong in this. You know, after twenty years, I have a, I have a reason to be, to not remember all this stuff. I think he was only there for a month, and he was Vince Russo's buddy, and he wanted Vince to come in. I mean, Vince wanted him to come in because then he would have an ally. Because they viewed wrestling along the same, uh, w- within the same lens. They thought of, and who knows what some people in creative think that wrestling is. <laughs> I know that the only thing that we've seen close to what wrestling used to be was the bloodline and Roman Reigns and Sami Zayn, that long time, long term. Uh, storyline that started nine months ago. And when's the last time we saw an angle go nine months? The last 20, very seldom, never. But we used to do that back in the days. And, you know, you could still go back to it. I mean, almost a year later, give it some time and then rekindle it and you could go again, maybe for a second round. But wrestling today is is nothing like it used to be. And Ed Perora, I mean, it was just, he was another Vince. And I, you know, I, I, I like Vince and I like Ed both. I don't think they had anything groundbreaking that could help the company. The company, what was going to help that company is steady, steady improvement. But to hot shot something here with an alien, let's say, <laughs> oh my God, an alien. Eh. People look at it like, what the hell is that? If you confuse them, you actually you do more damage than than you do good. And the old saying in wrestling is when you when you go in there and when you leave, leave it in better shape than when you found it. Of course, that's an old saying, and that's been abused like son of a bitch <laughs> too. So do you uh do you do you remember the story? I can fill in the blanks if you don't, but Jim Cornette and Ed Ferrara. I believe there was some sort of incident between the, those two. Do you remember hearing well, about it? Well, I guess the main reason is because that he hated Vince Russo with a passion, hated him. And Ed Ferrero coming in, I guess, inflamed him more because now it looked like Russo was kind of upping his 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 armament, I guess putting some more allies in place. And and Jimmy viewed these guys like the same way I did, as like they were latecomers to wrestling anyway. But Jimmy didn't like them because of personal reasons. I mean I can accept them. I can get along with them, even though we had a different philosophy on the application of wrestling, I can get along with them. I can say, hey, and I can go eat with them. And, you know, but when it comes to wrestling, I didn't agree with them. And Jimmy didn't agree with them, not only on wrestling. He didn't agree with them on a personal basis. He hated them. So I don't know what happened between him and uh, Ferrara. I'll tell you. Tell me and see if I remember it. Ed Ferrara went to WCW along with Vince Russo, and Ferrara on WCW TV immediately debuted a character called Oklahoma. I got, I, I got it. Yeah. I know it. Yeah. I remember it now. Oh, he, Jim Ross and Cornette used to be big buddies. Used to be. But now they come in making fun. And you tell me if this makes sense. Making fun of an announcer who has throat cancer. Didn't he have throat cancer? No, it's Bell's palsy. Bell palsy. So it's like paralysis of half his face, essentially. Right. So what is funny about that? Nothing. It's actually mean-spirited, uncalled for. What do you, you can't draw a dime off of it, tell you the truth. And that that pissed Cornette off because he knew it came from Vince and what's the guy's name now? Ed. Ed Ferrara, yep. 
and he went off. And I mean, I don't think I would have reacted in such a way, but it was in bad taste. It really was. Hmm. 